Early on, I didn't want him to succeed. I think that's probably the selfishness of me, and I feel bad for it. As it went on, as the season went on, he got into like his third game playing. I was rooting for him. As a former quarterback, I never watched a backup quarterback go in the game because I wasn't playing well and proceed to want him to have a bunch of success. I wanted him to die like a dog, period. It's a very selfish way of looking at things, okay? Jalen Hurts, of course, at halftime of the national championship, being benched after only losing, I think, one game, the national championship the year before, gets replaced at halftime. If you watched his body language the rest of the game, everything lent it to believe that he was all in. In fact, it's it's kind of been a legacy-building version of it. I guarantee you that dude was in that locker room, and he burnt something to the ground. I don't know what it was. You know, we're selfish pricks a lot of the time. <laughs>